a snake, man, you been alive. I, 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 cut us down, man, you multiply. I don't care, man, I fly to you. Air Jordans while I take flight. That was a line from back in the day. Big up, Gershom, we'll be doing fine. I, I, where the time go? Bye bye to my old flow. Risky, I'm like, hey. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shay. Let's get started. Video, I'm gonna talk about my dad. God bless the dead hopefully this video doesn't get emotional but i mean before we get in things started don't forget to like comment and subscribe in the title you saw that i said my father ruined my life question mark because the thing is a lot of people say people who are just raised in a single parent home are usually uh sheltered or uh, they have issues with trust or they're people pleasers or some turn out to want to do more than what that parent did so they thrive for greatness uh, in my case it led me to feel like something was missing I was raised by my mom gorgeous lady smart down to earth my mom is my rock my father on the other hand was not there the story is I think I was like three or something and he came they were together married everything and then he left to go be with like his high school sweetheart who just came back in town something like that she had two kids not with him and he adopted those kids they never had kids together but never showed an interest in me once he left. So I was raised up with no dad and um, I did have a stepfather. I'm getting personal with y'all so this might get emotional. I don't know, I'm gonna try. But I was raised with my stepfather, uh, my brother's dad. Um, they, my parents they got married and then they moved we moved to the Virgin Islands that hence why I have an accent because I was raised in the Virgin Islands since I was seven years old right so um yeah that situation was not good while she was gone we me and my other my brother after me was there with his father which at the time was my stepfather and he just became very abusive towards me like he would beat me, he wouldn't feed me, like he would throw me against the wall. And at that time I was like, the size of my arm was the size of like my whole body. They, my uncle used to call me string bean, that's how skinny I was. So just imagine like a little seven year old, eight year old just being flinged across. It was just very traumatic experience, let's just say that. So on top of my dad leaving me, then I had this stepfather who treated me like his daughter when we were in New York. But once we moved away, something snapped and he took out whatever frustration he had out on me. Moving forward, I remember just seeing all my friends with their dads at the park and picking them up from school and all this family stuff. I feel like I'm getting emotional. All this family stuff. And I wondered like, where is my dad like what's going on and every time i would ask my mom she wouldn't say anything bad one thing i respect about my mom she never said anything bad about my my father she never said nothing bad about him she just said they went their separate ways and he moved on so i just grew up uh just seeking some kind of something i didn't know what it was but i felt like something was missing so I would do anything to make friends. I would do anything to keep friends. Nothing illegal or anything like that. But like if it's something I didn't want to do, like go out or talk about somebody behind their back in school or stuff like that, I would join in on it just so I could have friends around. I felt like I needed these fake friends around me um, in order to validate my life. And I just felt like something was missing and then once I got older um, I just my mom was doing the best she can but to me because I was spoiled I don't know but I just felt like it wasn't enough so I started to lash out I started to steal like stupidly just steal I just started to make uh, make up lies 
just to get out of track practice and all that stuff and subconsciously I guess it was to embarrass my mom because I I guess I blamed her for me not having my father there uh, right as I am an adult now I totally do not agree with that uh, at all because I know the full story but back then I had nobody else to blame but my mom <laughs> just did a bunch of stupid stuff like I lost my virginity to a boy that I really liked and I could see us together for a long time had I stayed in that like mindset and space so, but, but I did it and I wasn't comfortable doing it and it hurt can we talk about that like a lot of people out there like, oh, and it was perfect. I had rosin and all that. No, son. It was, no, it was uncomfortable. It hurt like heck. Nah, fam. Just made a lot of bad choices. Like, as, and then as far as like career goes, like I wanted to be a psychologist and help out kids who dealt with situations like me and was acting out. But then I was so lazy because I saw how much I would have to be in school and I didn't do it. I went to culinary school instead because I figured, oh, well, I like cooking for my family and friends. Why not make a career out of it? And then when I got to culinary school, I was just like, yo, fam, this is not for me, kid. Like, I like catering and like private parties and stuff, but fully working in a full kitchen, like that was not my zhuzh at all. I'm at, at the core a people person and at the core I always want to make people better so through food to me it made sense through food you make people laugh and da 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 but once I went to culinary school it just showed me like what to expect later down in life my mom um, she met my stepfather now who I actually call my dad um, uh, when we first met him, I was just like iffy about it. I didn't want somebody else in. For a long time, it was just me, my mom, and my two brothers. We took care of each other. I had her, you know, I saying when she was in school, get her master's and stuff like that, her bachelor's and all that stuff. I was taking care of my brothers. It was almost like we were married, but that's kind of sick because that's my mom. But that's how I felt like she she did what she had to do, and I took care of the kids in a sense which was fine I didn't mind so then when my my dad came into the picture I was just was like ugh. so I just didn't give him a time of day like I did not like him and it is not and he was the best to us and I felt like because of what I had to deal with in the past I just gave him a cold shoulder and kind of made him feel uncomfortable luckily he's still around like <laughs> over 30 years or 20 years they've been together so he stuck it out and he's still as amazing as he was back then but now sorry and he treats my mom like a queen so because of him um sorry guys because of him, I know how a man is supposed to treat a woman, but I still have a, some issues with men that I have to deal with because I feel like it all stemmed from my father not being there and essentially just disowning me and adopting kids that don't, wasn't his, but not taking care of his own flesh and blood. So with that being said like i will let men in my life who don't need to be in there um keep them around longer than where they they need to be f have fights with dudes like physical altercations whether the person uh both putting hands on each other and normal people or a little stronger people i can't say normal but have a little stronger um self-respect for themselves would remove themselves from um that situation but me i would stay around i would do anything to please that person i would not speak to friends uh if i was requested to just to have them around like my definition of what a man supposed to be towards me was kind of jaded because of my my father and my uh 
stepfather. If it wasn't for my dad, like, and how I see him treat my mom and put her like number one and make sure she's the happiest alive and also respect her kids, the kids that she had before they even had their union and had their own kids, you know what I mean? That showed me what it's supposed to be. Hey guys, have you subscribed? Because you're always here, you might as well just click that subscribe button and be a part of the Tiger Lily squad. Gang, gang. And not in a negative, creepy way, but in a positive, uplifting Tiger Lily squad. You know, the high end of the chin type way. Oh, okay, we, we're doing too much. Let's get back to the video. A therapist, like, I, I would talk to when I was going through my rebellious stage. My mom sent me to a, a psychiatrist. And she basically, I felt like she was just blaming me for everything. Like, she wasn't trying to hear me. She was just blaming me. So it tainted my thoughts on therapists. I feel like that's probably another reason why I wanted to become a therapist. But I was just lazy. Now that I think about it, I should have stuck with it because... I'm really good with talking to people. Like I said, I'm a people person. I can see all areas of the spectrum. It's just when it comes to my life, I have a hard time following my advice. Hands up for anybody who's like that. Like you can give out good advice, but you have a hard time taking it and following through with it on your own. Situation with my pops, I mean my father. Um, I met him when I was 18. Um, that's another story if you guys want to know how I met my father I will tell you but I just met him when I was 18 uh, the experience was not good at all and then we didn't talk again and then when I finally was comfortable to reach out to him uh, I asked my mom for his information because I felt like something is missing I need to speak to my father because I need to close that chapter and I went looking for him and I saw an ob uh, obituary in the Connecticut newspaper because that's where he lived at the time and it said that he had passed away with a heart attack uh, which didn't really affect me. What did affect me is what it said. It said he was left by his wife and his two children and they named those kids and it's as though I never existed. Like, I meant nothing to this dude. Um, and that, I feel like, crushed me the most because it's as though, like, how can, I don't understand how can you help create something and just, like, bash it to the side. And I can't just say that that's what men do. I can say men and women because there's some women out there who do not step up to their responsibility and the father steps up you know what i'm saying so i never understood that and now i can't understand it because he's no longer here um i have forgiven him because um i would just be a mess if i did it and i more forgave him for me not for him for me to just be a little settled in my heart <laughs> aunt of mine told me that when well, she was mad at me and she said that I'm the reason why my parents aren't together and I'm the reason why my father left and I remember thinking on that comment for years and that crushed me one because that was like one of my closest uh, family members who told me that and then two is like okay because he's not even here so i can't even ask him if that true my mom said it wasn't but i would like to hear his side as well all in all did my father ruin my life no did he put some holes into certain things or affected me in a way when it comes to certain decision making and stuff like that yes uh, but that um and for those who say oh well you're strong, you shouldn't let that dictate your life. Everybody is different. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a Gemini. I'm just sensitive on top of everything. 
So things like that affect me in ways that it probably wouldn't affect anybody else. Everybody is different. And just with everybody else, I'm human and I'm trying to deal with it. Um, the decisions of my life and decisions of like what I want to do with my life is kind of messed up. Uh, I never know where I want to go. I never could keep still. And all of that, I think, stems from the beginning. Like what happened to the beginning, to not getting answers, to what happened in the middle, to how it ended. You get what I'm saying? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Locks and Lituation. Um, yeah, if you guys have any other subjects that you guys want me to talk about, any other things that may trigger you, leave it in the comment box below. I hope you, if you reach the whole video, leave a thumbs up. You are awesome. And leave in the comment box below father issues. Because <laughs> that's just what it is. Anyways, guys, I love you guys so much for watching and steady supporting your girl. Go over to my Instagram page and com um, subscribe to that. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Crash course. Let me have the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curve.